Hello folks, this segment is on creating some sections or some cross sections. In order to create some cross sections, you're going to need to have one thing and that is a sample line group. So you should have generated a sample line group previously and you can find that and uh, determine that by selecting the alignment section, expanding out your uh, alignment in question and there should be a sample line group there created for you. If you don't have a sample line group created, you should go back and uh, check out the tutorial on creating some sample lines and uh, generate some sample lines first so that you have at least one group. Uh, you need that in order to move forward. So once you've got a sample line group created you can go to the home tab and on your home tab you'll have a section view option there. Notice you've got one option here where you can create section views on a one by one basis. If you need to create multiple views at once then of course use this creates multiple views. Let's try this option here. I'm going to select create multiple views and up comes my dialog box. It'll ask me first of all the alignment that uh, my sample line group is tied to so pick the correct alignment and then select the appropriate sample line group. If you have multiple sample line groups you want to make sure you select the correct one. Uh, you can go from the uh, entire range of stations if you want to create those section views or you can specifically uh, call out uh, certain ranges of stations if you like. Okay, So you can type in whatever you like there give it a description, give it a style, and we'll just keep going through this wizard here. In this next option is how these sections are going to be laid out. So these sections are built so that they should fit nicely within a layout. So if you know what your layout is going to be, for instance if you're using a, uh, a one size sheet at a scale of 1 to 500 then you can go ahead and select that and what it will do it will try to uh, align and place those cross sections accordingly so they fit nicely on the page so say OK and uh, here's the group plot style section so this is how exactly those will be laid out if you want to know uh, some uh, things like the distance between the column widths or maybe you'd like to change uh, how the uh, the rows are scattered you can go ahead and select the editor button and uh, in the array tab you can edit up some of this uh, information on how far apart the rows and columns will be and th certain things with the plot areas etc uh, etc et so check that out if you want any additional uh, functionality click next and uh, this will uh, specify our offset range this is determined by the sample line group so if this uh, is needed to be edited uh, you can go ahead and use a user specified if you like okay but make sure that uh, this has to be at least the width of your sample line group if you if your sample line group uh, sampled 35 meters on each side and you specify 40 here uh, it won't you'll have five meters of empty space so you if you need wider sections go back and edit up the sample line group uh, let's go next and uh, we will check out the elevation range. This will add in uh, a, a little bit of extra space on your cross sections just to make sure that they fit within the grid. So this should be taken care of, but again, you can edit this if you like and uh, override some of those settings. Now, uh, these two surfaces here are the surfaces that were sampled in the sample line group. If you don't see a surface here that you would like to show up in your cross section, then you'll have to go back to your sample line group over here and uh, add some more sources. Um, you can add in labels if you if you want. Uh, you can also uh, distinguish between the existing ground and the finished ground if you want. If you have two of those different surfaces, we can go next, and uh, this will be the band along the bottom of the cross section. Again, you can go in and make those changes there if you like, and uh, edit, edit up any of these parameters. Um, when you are finished, go ahead and click Create Section Views and uh, select a spot to place those section views out of the way somewhere. And uh, in this case, based on the range of stations that I selected, I've got three sample line groups. Now, this uh, outside border edge doesn't mean too much. It's basically just used as a guide so you can fit it within the layout. Uh, you can go ahead and delete that if you like, but more importantly, here's my cross sections. And uh, check out the next segment for editing cross section views. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.